Hello, and welcome back to Metro 2033. I'm Chance, also known as Moras. In the last episode, we managed to secure missiles in D6 so that we can nuke the Dark Ones, because that's what was the bonus plan was. You know, it sucked. Wow. Anyways, you know what sucked? If um, I didn't get the good ending. Because I really tried hard to get the Glad good ending. You, Did you hear that? Listen. What the hell is it? Well, we already know what it is. It's an army of Nostalises. Here we go. Beginning of the end. Well, this is the day we die. Oh boy. Oh shit. Ew. Uh, hey, I'm just. I'm just the guy. I'm the main character. Please don't kill me. Hey, thanks. Alright. Here we go. I'm just gonna assume all our friends are dead. <laughs> See, how could a rookie of all people survive? I know it's plot armor. Very prevalent thing. It's just. It's kind of funny how an untrained. M mushroom s right, go, 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 mushroom go. merchant guy actually I don't think it was a mushroom merchant but in the books he his, his home station were were loved for their mushrooms so I always associate with him as like a mushroom farmer or like mushroom salesman kind of thing so yeah. <laughs> Always, the journey of Archeom in the books is a long one, and I don't think he sees much combat. He, he sees some combat, but it's like he doesn't see a lot because he's not supposed to be. Take a look at that room. Which room? This room? It's not over yet. We still very well get fucked right here. Yeah, it is cool. And it is shit. Apparently. I could blast money all day. Blah, blah, blah. Always perplexed me when I first played this game how money was a currency because before actually playing the game, all I heard was bullets are a currency. And I was like, well... 
uh, like in my head, I didn't realize that like premium grade bullets was a currency. You know what I mean? I always just thought it was just regular bull. Where are you? Hello? Yeah, I'm already ahead of you, man. Get your ass over here. No quiet. Come on. Okay. Two diaries. Oh man, what if I missed one back there? I just I probably did, honestly. This way. There's probably one in the ruins of the car or something. Usually when I miss a diary, it's usually like right at the beginning of a level. Or right at the end. Okay. What are we doing? I ride to the top. You're an eternal optimist, Miller. Easier said than done. Alright, Miller. I totally forgot that was your name. I thought it was Hunter. Hunter was the first okay, guy, okay, though. I have an idea. Climb on top of the elevator. We will try to unlock the counterweight stopper. Uh, that doesn't sound safe. Like, at all. Come on! We have guns, you know. Come on, Suga! Come on! Like, seriously. You can just shoot it off. Well. Man, I'm just standing up like I don't care. I can't even look up anymore. Hey, when did that open? When did the elevator? Oh boy! Ooh. Wow! Yeah, I could have fell off, but. Okay, good. No one. Damn straight, I'm shooting money in your face. Bling bling, bitch. Hey. The mask is better than mine. Let me take that. And kerchunk it onto my skull. Just call me Scrooge. Wait, you have an actual automatic weapon? Miller, I thought all you had was a hell breath, or whatever it's called, hellfire. And you're telling me you're, you're, you're blasting demons like it's hotcakes up there. This does not seem safe. Hey, I'm here. Well done. Come, Come in, here, mother. mother. You're we just, just sent some, some demons off. off. Still going up. Come in, Miller. Rap, 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 Technically, all you got was uh, a headbutt to the. What do you mean? I can. My laser could aim there. Move, boy, move. Everything depends on you now. Gonna burn your hair. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. No, not that way. I'll just go the way I came. 
but this time yo it's actually possible if you jump down there to actually have to run all the way back up um talking from experience shameful experience but experience nonetheless okay i almost just screwed a big old thing up but it's okay i didn't and I'm better for it. Oh. Okay. Okay, I thought I had to get onto that ladder, but I go oh god. <laughs> Scaring myself here. Do I have to jump? Oh. I do. Alright. Quickly tap X. The simulator. Of great upper body strength and um plot armor syndrome. Cause this thing would have would have came down the first time I put my weight on it. And that would have knocked me down with it. Oh, plot armor. Don't you love it? I do. Did I mention that uh, Miller's injury sh uh, in the books? No, I didn't. Uh, anyways, Miller's injury in the books actually cost him his arm. So he actually loses his entire arm. From, from getting attacked by the demon. However, because it's a video game and Miller still need be need to shoot the guns and stuff, actually ends up keeping his arm in the games. He's here. He's here. Uh, yes. Can hear, can hear us. Apparently. Can understand, can understand us. You'd know I don't talk, Goldman. chunk all right which way am I going some people come on demons I call them beaches hey there it is so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna read these notes even though right now they're kind of useless except for the last two but I figured since it's the ending might as well read read what this stuff has to say so <clears throat> actually I kind of want to make a separate video but then again yeah I'll make a separate video because it's a uh, it's like a documentation of the story and just reading it all on the final episode is kind of weird like I really should have been reading that like as we went but I didn't so now like uh, I I I, I want to read it, but I'll read it as like a separate bonus bonus thing. Oh. oh, oh, did I just screw up? No, not that bad. Yeah, I I, I was in my head. I was thinking, oh god, demon scared me. In my head. Before I started recording this, I said I was going to be like, yeah, I'll just read it uh, on the last episode. But now that I think about it more... Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I figured this is going to... Okay. Okay. I'm just going to climb. Just climb these rebar. Although I don't know if it's actually rebar. The real question is how I do, how do I get down? Whew. And they give you a filter just in case you need it. Yeah, so I don't know, I felt like I should read it. Why are they, why are they here? He brings, he brings death. Uh at the moment. But now it feels like if I if I read them all, only two would be relevant at this point, so I'll just read them all as like a recap of the story for people who may not want to watch the watch the the uh the series. Aha.
Artyom, the signal is just perfect. Hold on for just one more minute and we'll get them. Will we now? He's coming to, he's coming to destroy us. Uh-huh. Um He cannot be he cannot be allowed. You guys are threatening our people. They always they always do. They never change. They never change. That's gonna be us in a couple of years. I mean yes. We fight for survival. You will be, you will be stopped. Why? Ah, oh, shit, here we go. The mindfuckery portion of the <laughs> of this game. Well, that's a void. That's also a void. <laughs> that's a ending uh, brick wall. That he cannot be. He cannot be allowed. Please, no. Did I fall off? No, I didn't. Oh crap. I actually don't remember what what the right way is to go for not dying. Yep. Gonna pull one of these. Oh crap. <laughs> Guess I'm running this way. I one two three okay I don't know if it's actually three but that's generally how many times I count <laughs> please stop with these I just want to I mean, I can't surrender if you're trying to kill me, man. He cannot be, he cannot be hey. He's coming, he's coming to destroy us. Am I, though? I mean, what if we can compromise? I just don't want to die, man. I actually don't know how much karma I have for this decision. This is the part where things get... A little bit more difficult. There we go. First death. Whee! Yep. Screw that part. Screw this part. Wait. This way? Oh, it's over here. Oh. Yeah. All these uh, platformings in the shooter game. Causing me to die. He's coming, he's coming to destroy us. Have you ever thought about asking me? He cannot be, he cannot be allowed. Why can't I be allowed? Oh. Ah. 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 Give him one of these. Oh. Dark one that way. Run this way. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared of falling off this off this uh, platform. Oh, did we do it? I think we did it. Bootu bootsu. If it's hostile. Kill it. If it's hostile, you kill it. Stop him, stop him. 
I... Don't. Missed. Want. Two. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you gave me no choice. You tried to kill me. You reap what you sow, Martin. Force answers force. War breeds war, and death only brings death. To break this vicious circle, one must do more than just act without any thought or doubt. Oh, I think I do have the ability to stop it. I have your back, Dark One. I already gave you peace. I had enough karma! Yes! The non canon ending of the game. Well, we're just the goody two shoes, aren't we? We want peace. We want peace. Well, we brought peace. <sighs> G. Wells once wrote, if we don't, don't end wars. Wars and us. And somehow, I stopped my war. At the time, I couldn't say what had made me spare the Dark Ones. But I came to realize that the strange visions that haunted my journey were their attempts to reach out to us. I don't know if I was the first to communicate with them, but I will not be the last. They are among us now. In the future, our future, stretches before us like an endless metro tunnel. Well, that was Metro 2033 Redux. I might do Metro Last Light soon. Maybe, maybe not as soon, because I kind of want to do some other things, but I will be doing Metro Last Light. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, I'd like to give stupid little accommodations to who, f who, 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 uh, watch the entire series. So if you watch the entire series, um, let's give the 2033 medal of appreciation for you guys for watching the entire episode. I would have said the survivor medal, but... Technically, there are three games, so I want to be 2033, 2044, and 2035. That's that's what I want to give out for the books, even though the second game does not follow the books, and I guarantee the third game does not follow the books either. But, I don't know. Um, this game is amazing, because there's a lot of stuff that they don't touch on, because it's just about the small fraction. Like... You literally only see a small fraction because it's an action game, but like the dark ones, the story of how like are they h humans who are mutated? Like is that the advancement of the human race and like they wanted to help help you, like help the main character, help Artyom form an alliance to help fight like mutants and then like the canon ending to the game is not the one we just got. The canon ending to the game is where Artyom destroys the Dark Ones. That's the canon ending. So in the next game, it'll follow an ending where we destroyed the Dark Ones. Where we rejected the help of the Dark Ones. And they're, they're dead. They've been obliterated. We basically committed a form of genocide against... I want to say the future of humanity. Because... This game, and this whole series, the whole Metro series, is based on a world that's destroyed. Not just Moscow that's destroyed, it's the entire world has been destroyed. And unlike Fallout, where Fallout shows like a, well, the radiation's gone and everything's happy, there's mutants and we can survive, Metro shows a story of 
the radiation's still there. Everything's literally destroyed. There is barely survival. Only a select few are making it through. And it's just like a tough story of survival and how like it's a like dark place um at the end of the books uh artum actually ends up crying about like the death of the the dark ones because at the ending of the book he uh i think he rem like i have to read the book again i really want to but i haven't got the time but at the end of the book he starts crying because he realizes the Dark Ones wanted to help humanity and he just brought the end to it. Like, he's the reason why they're dead. And it's just a crazy, like, it's it's such a good series. And I'm so glad he open sourced the 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 world. Um, the, the, uh, the writer to the books, uh, I think I mentioned this earlier on in the, in the, seri uh, the playthrough, that he allows anybody to write their own metro book um that he'll like read over and then if he approves of it he'll like canonize air quote canonize it into the series and like you could talk about like metro canada or metro australia or metro uh germany or metro whatever like you could choose what your nation per se so long as like he approves it like approves uh what you say in it and then it's basically like a crazy thing that like he's willing to let people expand the world despite the fact he literally only talks about moscow and uh, i i I, f I actually was pissed at myself for not playing this when it came out when it first came out i did not touch it i didn't even know it existed for a long time until like i think two years after maybe maybe three oh crap i, I talked through the credits and that's the first but like once i played the game and beat it and i borrowed the book from my friend bradley and then i read the book and i was like this is amazing i have to own this book like for me if something is really good i have to own a physical copy of something so like if there's a really good movie i like i have to own the copy of the movie if there's a book I like, I have to own a copy of the book. And these are one of the series, when I played it, I was like, man, this is great. And my friend's like, I could lend you the book. It's, like, even bigger. Like, And I'm like, oh, crap, more content? Damn straight, I'll read the book. So I read the book, and I loved it. And then I read the second book. It was hard to get into because of the style of the book. Because uh, the way it was, um, it takes, like, you take over two characters, or three characters. So every paragraph, it changes perspective of characters, and that confused me until, like, a little bit into the book. Then I realized, okay, now I understand the flow compared to the first book, which was just completely art team's perspective. I have not touched the third book, Metro 2035, the final uh, finale of the Metro trilogy. I want to read that next. Um, I'll probably reread the series before touching on the third book. Uh, I can't wait for Metro Exodus, because, as I said... You barely, in the Dead City episodes, you barely touch the surface of what you could do with those, like, with the outworld exploration of these games. Even though I complain that they wouldn't be able to still. I can't wait. But anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you stick around for the next uh, recording I ever do. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Uh, I think Dark Souls. I'm thinking Dark Souls because I already recorded an episode and I think I'm going to continue with that. I got some Fallout 2 maybe going on, as well as I'm trying to finish Mass Effect Andromeda so that uh, I could <laughs> I could take a break from Mass Effect because I bull rushed Mass Effect 2. So yeah. Anyways, thank you, and I'll see you later.